most of the fish are caught on bait, so chicken liver, fresh salmon eggs, um, worms. Hi, I'm Katie Pruder with the Bonneville Power Administration. This is a northern pike minnow, and he and his pals are voracious predators of salmon and steelhead. Every year they eat millions of the young fish, and that's why the Bonneville Power Administration funds a program where you can earn cash for catching these critters. Today, let's find out how you can participate and get some tips from the experts. The program starts in May and goes until the end of September. You need a fishing license, and you need to register for the program. All right. The first thing you do is stop by our registration stations. We have 21 of those located up and down the Columbia River and the Snake River. A registration station looks similar to this here. This is the Gleason Station in Portland. If, we're, if we are there, uh, we will be glad to register you. You have a clipboard like this with a registration form. You fill out the top portion. <coughs> Take the registration form and drop it in the back of our registration box and you are set for the day. And then what do you do? Go fish. You can get paid four to eight dollars for northern pike minnow, nine inches or larger, caught in the lower Columbia and Snake Rivers. The more pike minnow you catch, the more the fish are worth. The first 100 are worth four dollars each. The next 300 are worth five dollars each. And after 400 fish are caught and turned in, they're worth eight bucks each. If you catch one of our special tag fish, we have close to a couple thousand we put out each year. They're worth, worth $500. So the chances of getting one of those are pretty good, aren't they? Right. There's tags from this year and tags from previous years that still may be out there. So any of those are good for the $500 reward. And we get at least about a couple hundred back each year that people catch. Um, some of our top anglers last year, the top 20 made from 20000 to almost 50000 we have maps at each station that kind of gives you an idea of a uh, time of year and what baits work the best for that area of river you're fishing in. Kind of one of the biggest tips is um, you, you got to spend time fishing for them. It's not not simple to catch, but if you you know take it like if you're steelhead fishing, you know you don't go out and catch a steelhead your first time, guaranteed. So put your time in. Yeah, I do it the same way you do it, just like a regular yep, salmon. Yep, 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 yep. That's it. I'm gonna bring it back through. Since 1991, more than 3 million pike minnow have been removed from the Snake and Columbia Ooh, Rivers through this program. Last year, anglers caught approximately 142,000 pike minnows. As a result of these efforts, pike minnow predation on juvenile salmon is estimated to have been cut by 40%. For more information, check out our website at www.pikeminnow.org.